Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3! Let's start, uh, bleh. let's start off this part by going after the last Robot Master, Magnet Man. Yes, I go after Magnet Man last, normally. As opposed to everyone else who goes after him first. Screw you. I do it my way, you do it yours. These little magnet guys will pull you upward, and um, you can get out of their pull fairly quickly, fairly easily, by just, you know, keep going in whatever direction you're going. And immediately we have a face-off with Proto Man. It's basically the same sort of... Uh, Uh, basically the same the same sort of strategy as in Shadow Man stage. Just pump him full of shots when he's um, just running along on solid ground. And while I do have a, an auto fire uh, button for the B button set to this controller, I don't, I'm not using it because I don't need to. This is me using the regular button. That's the auto fire button. But I'm not using the auto fire button because I don't need it. So let's head onward. I don't know if it's just the certain levels that are short, but it just seems that, you know, once you get to a certain point, the, all the levels seem a lot shorter. I really don't need those, never mind. And here's where I use Rush Jet. I hate those blocks. Now these first two areas with the blocks, these first two little rooms here, I don't mind too much for them, but when we start getting getting the magnets in the pits, that's where I say, yeah, I'm not doing that. And I'm elongating uh, Rush Jet's um, usage there. And we're almost at the end of the stage already. Like I said, it just seems to be going by quick now. Ah, I don't like that guy. And we have another one of these missile shooting dudes. And we're onward to Magnet Man. We've been on our last life for a while, but that's what energy tanks are for. I don't know how well I'm going to be do going to do as far as getting hit goes, but. Basically, he has the power to uh, magnetically attract you. Oh, dear. I did not realize he could take out that much health by jumping into me. No matter. We'll just, you know, we'll do the stage again. I know I'm not going to cut this out. I don't see the point. Because I like... What making you... Okay, I don't always, you know, do this. I don't always, you know, do retreadings. It, it, usually I would be like, I'll see you back where the boss is. But I don't feel like it today. I just feel like, you know, talking. And at the very least, this time around, we have uh, default, uh, our default three lives. So, um, when we get to Magnet Man again, uh, we can just easily dispatch him and lose a life if we need to. Although, I, I yeah, I kind of want to save the energy tanks a little bit because, um, the hard part, the, the harder part of the game is basically after the Robot Masters. And you'll see what it what I mean when we get there, but... See, I can do it. No, I just... I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever actually done this without the rush jet before, because, you know, I'm just like... You know, no, screw the blocks. Especially when it gets to this point where there's magnets and huge pits. I'm like, no, thank you. And actually, for that gun guy up at the top of the ladder here, I'm going to give him a shadow blade. 
There, that made things a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Actually, I did think of it about the, you know, after I did it, but I didn't say anything. Okay, we're at the boss again. And this time we have energy tanks and multiple lives, so... We're good. So like I said before, Magnet Man will jump at you, he'll shoot these magnet missiles down at you, which will more or less home in on you. And while he's doing this magnetic pull thing, he is invincible. Actually, I will use a... I will use an energy tank. I have plenty. I find Magnet Man to be the hardest to hit of all the Robot Masters in, the, in this game. We got him. Yeah, I, I don't like fighting Magnet Man mainly due to the fact that, you know, I, I, half my shots miss him. And that could have that could have been dragged out a lot longer had I had the um the, if I if I went for him first and I only had the arm cannon that would have been not great for me. But we got magnet missile, and now we go on to phase two of the game. We get to redo we get to redo Spark Man, Needle Man, Gemini Man, and Shadow Man stages with a twist. It's a question mark. Alright, so... This isn't the... As you can see right away, this isn't the exact same stage we went to before. Uh, this is um, a little different. This is, these stages now have different layouts that are a little harder. And we'll be fighting two bosses each. Alright, so... That could have been very bad. Just kind of panicking a little bit. Let's use a little bit of Rush Jet here. That could have been very easily done, but I don't, like I said, I don't care. I'm actually going to use it here, too. I, lo I, I, just, I just love abusing the Rush Jet in this game. It's so fun. I think I'm, I'm going to use it here. I think I do that. Because this is basically just a harder version of this platforming section, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. We're at the boss now. Well, the first boss. First of two bosses. Now, basically, the way the the bosses work in in these uh, these four these redone stages is that we fight basically these guys called Doc Robots, and they have the uh, weapons and the weapon or and the uh, fighting pa like the battle patterns of bosses from Mega Man Two. In this particular case, we're fighting Metal Man, and one of the, uh, each of these Doc Robots has a uh, oh two or three weaknesses. I'm just going with the ones that I know of. Metal Man is weak to Magnet Missile. Now, you may be asking, why do they call them Do Doc Robots? That's kind of a stupid name, don't you think? Well, it was kind of a... Yeah, there's spikes there now. That's okay, this is the checkpoint. Oh, no, it's not the checkpoint. Oh, dear. I miscalculated. I thought that was the checkpoint there after you beat the first boss. Gonna have to refill a magnet missile. Well, I might not have to. Now we'll we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, it was a weird translation as to why they're called Doc Robots. Um, the Japanese name is the, basically the same thing, except it's you know it's Dokoro, um, Dokoro means uh, skull, and uh, they basically just. Um, made, like, a compound word with robo robot, so it's Dokorobo. So, uh, there you go. It's, it's because it's, it's basically Skull Robot. Because, um, the sprites don't really show it well, but the, their heads are do look like skulls. Um, yeah. 
They look they look more like Gutsman than they do like a, a Doc or whatever. They could have just uh, I, 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 at first when I when I heard about it, I'm like, did it, um, when I first heard that they were called, I didn't know what they were called when I first played through this game when I had it on the NES. Um, I just called them, you know, the guy, the the guts man looking guys who have Mega Man 2 bosses in them. But um, when I first heard they were called Dark uh, Doc Robots, I thought it was like a mistranslation of Dark Robot. But it's no, it's just um, a weird way they translated Doku Robo. It doesn't look. Yeah, you really can't tell on the 8-bit sprite, but that's meant to be a skull head. Also, in true Metal Man fashion, if you don't attack him right away, he won't attack you for a little bit. Which I thought was kind of funny. Okay, this might be a bit of a doozy here, so I'm just gonna be a little more careful. Alright, we got it. That is a that is a bit um I mean sometimes I'm able to go through that with just like one try. Sometimes it, in this particular case it does take me a couple tries, but that is a little more nerve wracking than it looks in my particular opinion. Okay. I think we should be... Just like this bit. And then there's more of those garbage compactor things you have to jump through. Ah. We need an energy tank. I don't feel like dying again. This gets a lot easier once we get to the final castle area things. We're at the end boss here, the Sparkman stage anyway, and uh, just in time to, yeah, we can get him in two minutes. That's no big deal. It's Quick Man, so I might, I might have lied. Uh, I think we might need a little. I forget what he's weak to. <laughs> Gemini laser. That's what it is. This might take some doing. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hate Gemini Laser! <laughs> oh, crap. I think we just start over at the right before the boss, but yep, we do. I'm just going to call it a part for here, and when we come back, we will fight Quick Man Doc Robot. I guess we can call him that. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?